Oh my god, I am pissed at Nintendo for doing something that I wanted them to do for a f***ing long time. Seriously, I just, I don't get this company. One day they announce a f***ing alarm clock, the next day they're gonna announce a f***ing ice cream that you can only get at GameStop for a limited time. That may sound crazy, like why would a video game company do that, but m***er, it's Nintendo, okay? At this point, are we really gonna be surprised? Made possible thanks to viewers like you. Thank you. Alright, so if you're somehow unaware of what's going on, Nintendo quite recently announced a new app where you can finally listen to their music. Now, if you're not a massive Nintendo fan, you might find it surprising that Nintendo hasn't allowed you to already listen to its music on like stuff like Spotify or Apple Music. It yeah, it doesn't make sense. Like, almost every other video game company allows you to listen to their music on those platforms. You see, you gotta understand that Nintendo, while they make really great games that are innovative sometimes, they are somehow always stuck in the past. I mean, their premier online service, which you have to pay for every year just to go online, it doesn't even have dedicated servers. It's just peer-to-peer -peer connection. I mean, it took them so long to update a Nintendo Switch to have party invites. Something that's pretty standard are already on Xbox and PlayStation. And for a very long time, when it came to Nintendo and releasing its music to its consumers, they've just been so passionately stubborn and stingy on making it more accessible. Like, they don't upload it on YouTube or, like, make it available on Spotify. They expect you to buy, like, physical disc in collector's editions or something like that or literally use the game to listen to the music. Like, I remember in the Smash Bros. Direct, like, they suggested using the Nintendo Switch to listen to your favorite music on the go. And I'm like, Nintendo, come on, like, who's actually gonna do that? <clears throat> uh, I, I, I did that once. But that was only in a road trip because my phone battery died and I wanted to listen to music, so my last resort was just to load up Smash Bros. Ultimate and listen to the music that way. But it always dumbfounded me that Nintendo actually expected you to listen to music this way. Like, who was pulling out the bus just to listen to the fucking Mario Kart soundtrack? So, I want to say, like, this is actually a pretty good announcement. Like, I'm actually happy Nintendo's finally giving us a legal way to actually listen to their music. Because whenever somebody tried to upload it on YouTube, they're gonna get copyright striked. Now, with the little time that I got to use the app, I gotta say, you know what? It's not that bad. You get all sorts of different playlists. You can get playlists based on characters. I mean, yeah, you know, it's basic stuff, but eh, it's nice. Although I am kind of annoyed at the launch lineup of music. A lot of the music is more modern Nintendo Switch games and other systems don't really got a lot of selection right now. Like the only thing in the Wii genre is Super Mario Galaxy and the Wii menu. Like, bro, come on. There's so much more that you can pull from. Like, the fact that Skyward Sword soundtrack is not there, like, what are you doing, Nintendo? Come on, lock in. Okay, I know there's gonna be updates to, like, the sound selection and stuff. Like, they're gonna add more tracks as the months go on, but, like, I don't know. I feel like a good majority of Nintendo music should already be here, but okay, fine, like, I get it. Like, to use this app, you need a Nintendo Switch Online subscription, and I understand that they have to spread out the music drops so they keep more people subscribed to the service. But I don't know, at least I feel like the heavy hitter should already be here. And speaking of that required subscription service, I feel like a lot of people are going to be mad at that. And understandably so. Like a lot of people already pay for Apple Music and Spotify, like they don't want to pay more money just to listen to Nintendo music. I mean, in a way, it makes sense to require Nintendo Switch Online, because those people are probably already Nintendo fans, so they can use that money to supplement the service. And it also adds more value. Like, okay, I'm paying $20 online for peer-to-peer -peer connection. At the very least, I get to listen to that music on the go. So I 100% agree that Nintendo should have just released it on Spotify or Apple Music, but I don't know, they gotta make money, I guess. Nintendo are some greedy bitches. Now, one final thing before I end this video is somebody pointed out on Twitter that there's no proper crediting to the artist who actually made the music on the app. I mean, I personally think that should change. Like, sure, not a lot of people know video game composers by heart. Like, a lot of video game composers are not famous celebrities. But I don't know, I feel like the artists who did work on them deserve to be mentioned. 
Like for a lot of us, this is the music that we grew up on. And there's actual artists who put their hard work into creating these memorable soundtracks. So hopefully Nintendo quickly changes that, because why wouldn't they? It's such a small thing that they can change very quickly. And again, they deserve to be mentioned. So those are my thoughts on the new streaming service that Nintendo's making. I mean, I find it funny as hell that we all are expecting like the Switch 2 announcement and out of nowhere just announce an app where you can stream music instead of just, you know, streaming music on a normal app like Spotify or Apple Music. It's such a Nintendo thing to do, but, you know, it, it's also kind of funny. So, hey, that's all I gotta say. Thanks for watching and see you later, guys. Da da da